Hi, today we're going to be talking about space technology. So here are some of the vocabulary words that you're going to hear throughout the Ed Puzzle. And some of these vocabulary words are on your Quizlet for this week. So the main idea of this um, Ed Puzzle is that astronomers use telescopes, satellites, space probes, and spectroscopes to make observations and collect data about objects inside the solar system and outside of the solar system. These tools and the associated technology that allow astronomers to analyze and interpret data help scientists learn about the solar system and about the universe. The first one we're going to be talking about are refracting telescopes. And basically what you need to know about a refracting telescope is it uses convex lenses to bend and focus light rays to produce images of objects in outer space. Reflecting telescopes. Now, reflecting, obviously, that's going to mean when you see a reflection, it's like a mirror. And reflecting telescopes use mirrors to focus light rays to produce images of objects in space. The next one are radio telescopes. Now, this may look familiar because you probably have seen something like this um, at some point. Um, there are radio Radio, big huge radio discs like this and sometimes they have um, they're connected to telescopes and they can actually see things in outer space and radio telescopes use radio waves that are emitted from objects in space including waves from very distant stars and, and galaxies and then the radio waves are used to produce images of objects from sound waves so radio telescopes receive information in any weather during day or night. And that is really important. Radio telescopes receive information in any weather and during day or night. So other telescopes read infrared or x-ray signals but have to be placed in Earth's atmosphere or have to be placed where Earth's atmosphere does not block or absorb the signals. Satellites. Now, there are natural satellites such as a moon and there's also man-made satellites such as this space technology that we're talking about. So satellites are placed into orbit around Earth with special instruments and telescopes to collect information from space. The information is sent back to Earth where it's then interpreted. Space observatories. Those are telescopes or other instruments that have been launched in outer space to collect data on distant planets, galaxies, and other celestial bodies. The Hubble Space Telescope is an example of a space observatory. Data gathered from satellites and space observations are not hampered by Earth's atmosphere. That's huge. Data from satellites and space observatories are not hampered by or affected by Earth's atmosphere. Now, you notice that they're talking about the Hubble telescope here. So a space observatory can also be a telescope because the Hubble telescope is a telescope, but it's also a space observatory. So sometimes they can be both, but you want to concentrate on the key facts that I'm that I'm reiterating at the end of each slide like for space observatories um, data gathered from satellites and space observatories are not hampered by Earth's atmosphere that's huge and you want to be familiar with the pictures that are on each of these slides as well space probes um, contain instruments to collect data and travel outside of Earth's orbit to explore places that would be too dangerous for astronomers. The instruments that a probe contains depends upon their space mission. So a space probe would be used where it's not safe enough to send an astronaut. And um, it depend what they use on that space probe depends on the mission. Um, and also you need to know that space probes travel outside of Earth's atmosphere. So a good example of a space probe would be the Mars rover. 
Spectroscopes. Now you guys are kind of familiar with spectroscope because we talked about them when we talked about light waves. So spectroscopes um, collect the light from distant stars and separate that light into bands of different colors. By studying these bands, astronomers identify the elements of a star. All right, so that's basically all you need to know about space tools and um, that's going to be the space tools is going to be part of your test on Wednesday. So make sure that you have access to this PowerPoint and I will post it on Google Classroom for you. Thank you guys.